reason for pounding a log, uh, brown ash has a coating between the ears growth rings. And it's the only kind of wood that has that. When you hit it with a hammer, that vibrates. The vibration loosens that. Uh, you can split it down to paper thin, then you can tie it in knots. What other wood can you do with that? But it's no good for nothing else. It's no good for wood, it's no good for lumber. Uh, it's a basket wood, that's what it was called. When white people came here, it was known as basket wood. Now it's brown ash or black ash. My great grandfather came from Germany, and he was a basket maker. And he married an Abernathy girl in Canada, and she was a basket maker. So it's been baskets ever since. I first started making baskets in 1923. Because my folks made baskets, and we had to help make a living, all of us. My mother had taught me what I knew about it. And I just kept practicing so I could make a basket good enough to sell. But uh, I was the only child. And uh, I was a mile and a half, two miles from my nearest neighbor. So when I got home from school, I made baskets. In the summertime, when the day's work was done on the farm, we made baskets in the evening. There was no radio, no television in those days. No electricity. We made baskets by lamplight. Uh, what else was there to do? The Sweetsers all had talented hands. Most of them were musicians, but they all were expert basket makers. Their, their hands were, were just educated hands. All of them, the whole time. I'm glad I followed along behind them. I don't play any music. I whittle, I don't fiddle. <laughs> Brown ash drives fast, so when I take some off to use, I throw it in the kettle, or if I ain't taking it off, I pick it up, a roll of it, and throw in. It makes it pliable, and it's so much easier to work. Uh, less waste. So uh, you really have to soak it to do a good job. For the egg basket, you have a 12 upright, six straight, six tapered. So you have to know the width. You have to rip them out straight, shape them on both sides. Tapered uprights is what, what gives your basket its shape. Uh, so if they aren't tapered good, well, you don't get a good shape. But you'll, you'll put in your straight ones, and you go around twice with filling. That locks your straight ones in, then you lay in your tapered ones, and you go around once, then your basket's locked together anyhow. But it's easy on the press to finish laying the bottom. You can't buy tools to make baskets, so you have to make them, design them. I made a press to, to hold the bottom while you lay them. Made a splitter so I can split it. All the stuff you can't buy, you have to make it. I'm, I'm here working on a basket, and, and I may think, well, I'd like to make such and such a basket, and I'm thinking about that, I'm watching the basket I'm making. But I think baskets all the time. I, I am in my basket world.
when you're weaving a basket, you, you've got to have your stuff thin enough so that you can wrap it down and it'll be tight, nice and tight together. And if, it, if it's too thick, it just won't do it. On basket making, the sweepers never wrote anything down. A lot of them couldn't write anyhow. A lot of them couldn't read. But nothing was ever jotted down. Everything was memory. The baskets, when I was growing up, was the main container. Uh, children uh, see a basket, they knew what they could use it for. Today, you walk into a store, what do you find? Uh, from the side of a teacup up, you find uh, containers, plastic containers, made in Japan, Taiwan, or wherever. A any size container you need, uh, they have it in the store for, for very little bit of money, made of plastic. To me, a basket is nothing that uh, can compare with a basket for a container. They're not used like they used to be used. No, people just want a nice basket that they can have for an ornament. It's uh, just collectible. As I tell me, my grandmother come up with a swing handle so they could stack their baskets. They. Uh, they used to store their winter clothes in the summertime in baskets. And with a D-handle, you couldn't stack them. Well, my handles, was, uh, they're made the same. Uh, only I do more carving on mine. They have a thick place in the center. So if you know if I made it or someone of the old timers made it. Uh, now and then you get a tree with with half inch, pretty close to half inch growth rings. So we take those off and save those and rip them for the hooping. Uh, used to nail it on, but now we we wrap it all on. Everyone can't make baskets. Some people don't have educated hands. Uh, some people just just don't. Their hands don't do what they want them to. My little granddaughter, she's pretty clever. She's got talented hands. If she continues, she'll be a good basket maker, I think. Not too many people have that gift. There's a finished product. I guess. Okay. Pretty heavy for you, aren't they? <laughs> Put yeah. it down tight, honey. Yeah. I think my granddaughter and Leah at eight will make a, a good basket maker if she doesn't have a change of heart. I can't push her. I've got to let her take her time. I hope, I hope she's the one to carry on. I hope someone does. Didn't look right, do it? Huh? It was over, over, under. I didn't like that. You didn't? No. Well, you think you're coming right along pretty good, huh? Yep. If I had been like the rest of the sweet and not taught anyone, and when I'm gone, where would the knowledge of making these baskets be? I would hate to think, after four generations, that I was the last one. There's plenty of people out there that can do it. But I hope Leah can carry it on for our, for our benefit. Papa, um, when are you going to teach me how to pound? Huh? When are you going to really get on to me about pounding? I want to learn how to pound. Well, 
just as soon as you get where you can handle a hammer. I'm glad that I was taught. I'm glad my mother insisted I learn how to make baskets. Yeah, I guess so. And I'm going to tell you, I didn't want to when I was Leah's age. I didn't. But I had to. And I think it's the greatest gift that I could have ever gotten. Worth more to me than money. <laughs>